Hello, I'm Delusion Dispeller. I have a brand new video series I'm starting right now. And this is something that people have talked to me about for a while and asked me questions about. What do we do after the relationship ends with the narcissist? What now is basically what I'm going to entitle it. Or, but is it really over now is a better way to put it. So let me explain to you what you can expect from the narcissist after the relationship supposedly ends and where you go from there etc I'll try to keep these videos brief because I know that if I make them too long I lose the attention of people and I really want you to get this it's important to understand that your feelings are valid and very understandable and very realistic you may experience a myriad of emotions after the relationship ends because if you were the type of person I was um, you're very empathic you're somebody that really cares about people you really loved the person that you were in the relationship with but did they really love you now let's talk <clears throat> first of all a narcissist is not truly done with you until you are truly done with them what I mean by this is until they really know that they know that you can survive without them, that you have moved on with your life, they may keep coming back. If you have a fear, for instance, of being abandoned, the narcissist knows this and will use it to their advantage by either not seeming to care if you threaten to leave them or by leaving you and not caring. The narcissist knows that this is a button to push and that it will work every time with you. In fact, you have taught them this by how you've responded during their threats of leaving you or kicking you out many, many times before. I'm going to interject some of the situations that I've been through with Anita in my past uh, situation with the narcissist so that you'll understand a little bit more the dynamics of what this looks like in action. So, it was not until I rejected Anita's Goonie henchman's attempt at checking in with me for Anita because she really did care and was sorry things didn't work out according to her. Or until I rejected Anita's personal efforts of making sure to ask me, are you okay girly? I mean really okay. That she finally stopped contacting me. I think Anita truly believed that I could not survive without her and that gave her great narcissistic supply to know that. So until I finally said to her henchman, the person she put up to come and contact me and act like she still really cared, until I finally said, lose my name, lose my number, don't contact me again, until I finally put down my foot, she kept on contacting me in various ways, which I'll talk about more throughout this video okay if the narcissist does come back remember that it is in order for that narcissist to feel the sensation of power over you and not because he or she cannot live without you misses you feels sorry wants to work things out maybe the narcissist knows that you don't like feeling dominated in relationships this makes this a perfect tool for them to use to get the upper hand with you. If the narcissist can, they will do everything in their power to make your life a living nightmare so that you'll come back begging them to stop doing that to you. They'll do anything to get you back at first. They'll use your jealousies too. Having affairs right in front of you to cause you to feel angry and then alternately hate yourself for wanting revenge on them. Anything they can do to get you to beg for them to come back. They will not hesitate to play dirty like this. It's just what they do. Stay tuned as I tell you how exactly this played out in my life. Thanks.